Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. Today we're on site at Pino's Palette, the upscale paint and sip destination in Naperville where anyone can be a Picasso. So Pam, tell me a little bit about the paint and sip concept here. I think this is wonderful. So here at Pino's Palette, what we do is we have a fun night out. So you are led step by step through the painting of the night and uh, you leave with a dried painting and you can have a glass of wine while you're doing it, help you relax a little bit. And your painting turns out a little bit better when you're relaxed. Well, and I think your instructors help us, our little paintings turn out better too. They do, they guide you step by step through the painting and it's also a fun time with your family and friends, making memories. And we're sitting in your private party room, but there's also a very nice and active studio, so I have both options. Tell me about each one of them. So to have a private party, you just need to have 12 people, and the beauty of the private party is you choose the painting. We have nice. a huge library of paintings. I think we have over 2,000 paintings that you can choose from. We have corporate people come and do private parties, lots of bachelorettes, birthday parties, bunco groups, any, any group. And then if I'm out in the general studio, am I, am I dropping by? Am I just a couple out on a, on a date thinking this will be fun? And my family, who's, who sits there? So what you want to do is get your girlfriends or you can come by yourself and you can sign up online or call the studio. But we have a regular scheduled calendar of events. Okay. And you either choose the night or the painting that you want to do. And you come in, you paint, and you just sit along with everybody else and have fun. Right, all of my sipping some wine out there too. That's right. That's right. The thing that really appeals, I think, is that you make everyone look great as an artist. I think uh, when people come here and they're sitting down, they're painting, they can't really think about things that are going wrong or, or stress about the next day because they're really focused on the painting and you can't use uh, that side of your brain. Mm -hmm. So you're using your creative side and you're just, you're relaxed. It's very relaxing. We have people that come. Uh, sometimes even once a week, do a little therapy, and uh, they love it. They love it. They just relax and have fun. That's great, right? Because I, I do agree, and it's nice to cross train that brain because we yeah. all we do all use that that logic side too much. You do you have a lot of kids? Do you have a program for kids? We do have a program called Little Brushes, nice. and we also do kids camps. So in the summer, one week out of the month. So in June we have a week. July we'll have a week. In August. And it's a four hour day, you bring your lunch and you paint a painting and you do a craft and they play some games and it's led by uh, artists that are used to working with kids. We have school teachers that work here and um, quite a few, they're all trained, they all have degrees in art, so they're very well equipped to uh, work with kids. You also offer this to the corporate realm, which I think is great because I would think that this would be a great team building exercise. It's perfect for team building. We have quite a different, quite a few different types of things you can do. We have a musical chairs, we have a puzzle piece which is really interesting. We've had corporations come in and create either a logo or a painting and each one does a little square. They put it all together and display it in their office. They love it. They do, and we've had uh, companies come in two and three times doing different corporate team building events. That's great. And does that usually happen here in the party room? Uh, it can happen in either area, depending on how big the group is. And we also go to you. So if you have an area in your um, business, we've done it um, up and down Deal Road at quite a few businesses, <laughs> in lunch rooms, in hotels, uh, in banquet facilities. We've gone and uh, done this for corporations. And I, I hear that I'm going to have an opportunity to, to try my creative side. And yes. That's great. I'm going to warn you now that I, I'm kind of creative, but paint and I just, it likes to go all over me. So I'm just going to, but I, I know that you're going to give me a smock and I'm going to be okay. You're going to be okay and you're going to find your new happy place. That's I, what we call Pino's Palette, your happy place. Ruth, I'm, I, I'm kind of set up here. I got my, my little sip, my there little wine. Go. Yes, it's going to help me. <laughs> I got, I and mean, you're here to help me create something wonderful. And we've picked a nice colorful yes, skyline. Yes, we so. have. We've, uh, it's uh, Sunset City It's the title of this painting. So oh, it's a Chicago okay. skyline. So That's awesome. It. So what's my first step? What do I need to okay, do? Okay, we're going to use our large brush for this one. So it's your green. Okay. Okay. And so I'm just going to show you a few basic areas to kind of sketch out your water line, your sky, that kind okay. of stuff. That's too. nice. Okay, so, <laughs> so and, and I'm going to grab my paint. All right, and we're going to be using the blue paint. The so blue paint, okay. Yes.
So Ruth, for Business Connection here, you, we created this base, so a little demo for me. What, what's the next steps in class? So now we need to begin building our city skyline sure. on top of this. Uh, so we'll begin by sketching out all of our buildings, our Chicago skyline, and then we'll be filling them in. Uh, it'll be a nice silhouette against our uh, bright background. And you would guide, guide us through all of that? Exactly, yes. And so I'd help you do all the sketching, uh, show you how to fill that in, add some highlights, some reflections. Nice. And that all takes um, across a, a two-hour class Yeah, with me and my friends and some wine. And, and, you, and you. Yes, and me. <laughs> Yay. Thanks for taking time to, to give me a little bit of an idea about this experience. It was wonderful. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Hope you had fun. I did. Good. <laughs> Pam, I loved it. I loved it. I'm happy you loved it. So I would imagine that I would love to do this all the time. So is there some type of reward program that would encourage me to come back and see you time and time again? Absolutely. Excellent. We have a program called Pino's Perks where you can collect corks and it's free to join. And as you collect corks, you move to different levels. And at the different levels, you could get either preferred seating and just for being a member, you get a free wine glass on your birthday. Nice. And you just have to collect uh, 12 corks to get a free class. And just for signing up and being in a class, you get three automatically. You earn corks by being in class and also by spending money at the bar, either in a frame or a drink. So there's lots of ways to earn quarks and come back. That's excellent. Pam, I've been looking at this uh, photo of the dog over your shoulder there, and I love it. Um, so cute, reminds me of one of, one of my dogs. Um, tell me about that painting and, and, that, and that program you run for it. Sure, we have a class called Project Pet. We do it about every six weeks. And uh, what you do is you send us a picture of your pet, and we have it printed on the canvas. We Photoshop it, have it printed on the canvas. So when you come in, there's a black and white of your dog sitting there, and we teach you how to paint over that at different brush strokes for mm -hmm. different type of hair. And um, the artists are here to help you, so you leave with a fantastic portrait painting of your pet. That's awesome. That is a wonderful idea. Great idea. You also are very generous, Pam, um, to the community. Tell me about some of the charitable programs you run. Sure. We actually, through Pino's Palette, we have what's called Painting It Forward. Nice. Uh, we do several different things like with it. We have a class in September, every studio that's open across the nation, and we pick a charity and all the proceeds from every studio goes to that charity. Last year, uh, we gave over $34,000 to uh, St. Jude's. Nice. So, we also do monthly and sometimes we have three in a month uh, charity events where we give back like to the Max Lacewell Foundation, American Cancer Society. We've done probably 30 plus fundraisers here and we do a lot with the Project Pet. We do with the Main Society and a lot of um, pet rescues. They do fundraisers here and have everyone come paint their pet. That's awesome. Well, thank you for, for being a, a valued member of the community like that. That's wonderful. We love it. I can tell. I can tell that you love what you do. You've mentioned your staff a lot, so tell me about uh, how they help you be successful. The staff is where it's at. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are the face of Pino's Palette, and they're all very uh, genuine. They love Pino's Palette. I have eight of the original artists from when we opened two and a half years ago, so that says a little something. Mm -hmm. They love it here, mm -hmm. and they are also rewarded for coming up with paintings that we can add to our library. So it's great to support local artists and also have them give them the opportunity to earn extra money through their own creations. And also we try to get them out in the community painting at charity events. They, we've done a lot of live paintings mm -hmm. where we donate the painting and a private party to the charity. Well, and it helps showcase the artists. Artists, you know, when you, when you major in art or something like that in college, it's hard to get a job. So it's nice to see something, an industry or a, a company like yours being able to, to employ a bunch of artists. No more starving artists here. No. So, so as we wrap up here, tell me, what is the best thing that you, the thing you love most about being the owner and operator of this fine establishment? I like that it truly is a happy place. You cannot be in here and not be happy painting. And you, and you feel good about yourself after you leave with a painting that you created. You've used your creative side. And I just, I just like that people like to come here and they, they like to have fun and be happy while they're doing it. Excellent. Thanks, Pam. You're welcome. We'll be 
right back with more Business Connections.